Hi, do so. I'm not rich. I'm very poor and live in a flat, and my mother and nephew passed away due to the virus a few weeks ago, and I'm barely making ends meet. My life right now just isn't good. I feel like I'm just a piece of rubbish, so I was wondering if I could get these shoes for my daughter in a size 6. She really wants them. I keep explaining to my daughter our situation, but she just doesn't get it. So please, please can I have these shoes for 25 pounds? Just please, you will help me out a lot, and if I don't get them, I'm scared she will just hate me for the rest of her life. I just wanted to get these as a Christmas present for her. Just please can I have them in a size 6 for her, or she will hate me so much. I just try to do everything for her. I just feel like putting her up for foster kid adoption. I've thought about it many times, but I decided no, she's more important than anything, and I can't just give away like that, so please, please can I have the shoes for 25? It will mean the world to me, and so many emojis just to get that emotional effect through. Hello Redditors of the Internet, Nobles not here, and welcome to r slash Choosing Beggars Part 42. Let's get started. So Epic Games was giving away City Skylines for free and someone isn't happy. Epic first game not happy. What's next? Goat Simulator and Farming Simulator? If you don't want the game, then just don't get it. Why are you gonna complain about a free game? This next one's titled, I don't even know this chick. Friend, wanna cash at me $50 so I can go get my nails and toes done? Nah, go get a job, the hell? I look like a bank to you or what? Don't think this one's a choosing beggar, just a beggar who's going around spamming people asking for money. This next one's titled, You Don't Need Enemies If You Have Such a Family. Hello, sis, call me. Do you make a party for your 30th birthday? No, because of the pandemic. Maybe next year or not at all. Well, that's definitely gonna suit you. On my 30th, I also invited you all to dinner, so you will probably be able to catch up next year. And if you can't, give us all still money so that we can eat alone. Don't forget the kids. Give us money, the hell? I was wondering why local restaurants don't give out certificates redeemable in the future for those supporting them in this crisis. Asking them for free stuff is not a form of supporting them. And the choosing beggar replies, Hello, perhaps more people would support them. Economics 101. But the real Economics 101 is realizing that local businesses out here are struggling due to the virus. For this next one, thought these were always fake until I ran into one. 23 years old, no kids, homeowner, car owner, business owner, BA in computer science slash business administration, looking for women whom are single, real hair, no kids, make a minimum of 120,000 annually, must be in shape, must own a home and luxury vehicle, cannot weigh over 150 pounds. Well, all I can say is good luck with that. For this next one, apparently, being a VTuber makes you too famous to respect others. How not to talk to an artist or any human being brought to you by me. Oh, don't worry, you're not drawing for free. I'm gonna pay you back with likes for my followers. You either pay me with money or I'm not drawing for you. It's as simple as that. And the choosing beggar replies, Girl, you're a small artist. Who the hell would pay you for your art with money? If you think I'm gonna waste any of my time drawing your ugly ass bagel face after you insulted my art like this, then you're being delusional. Fine, small artists are all the same, there's a reason why you don't have much followers. I'm a VTuber and you'll regret this. Gotta hit him with the rare insults. This next one's titled, Do Me A Favor And Be Fast About It. Wedding 10th of April 2021. Good morning, my client is a well-known social media influencer who is planning to be married at this place on the 10th of April 2021. In the lead up to her wedding beginning this summer, she would like a documentary style video an hour long and photos taken at bridal fittings which can be shared with her followers. On the day of the wedding, she would like a video documenting the whole day, must be one plus hour in length, and a package that includes approximately 1,000 photos. In exchange, she is willing to extensively promote your business to followers on Instagram and Facebook combined amount of 55,000, including story shoutouts and will offer a discount of at least 25% on your packages. Just so you're aware, we've approached four other similar businesses in your area, so a fast response will be beneficial to your business, but don't be surprised when you get five no's. 
This next one's titled, Be Grateful for Any Ring, Brat. My boyfriend got me a 75 euro ring as a Christmas gift when I clearly asked him for a 200 euro one. He clearly doesn't love me. He said he'd provide anything I wanted when we started dating. What a freaking liar. And the response? Break up with him. Yeah, good advice. That way he can find someone who's not so entitled. And for this next one, my old boss fired me because I was sick, then their business went under, and she actually sent me a GoFundMe type thing to donate to the business. If you can help by donating or sharing, that would be amazing. Thank you, and we hope to see you soon. Not gonna lie, Karen, I have no money. And now, a beggar begs for gifts for kids, then sells them. You're so sweet, thank you. I have an almost three-year-old girl and a nine-year-old boy. Just some ideas for the girl she liked pretend makeup. Kids cleaning set, magnetile, she loves any art. The boys like Lego sets. And then goes on to sell the gifts, sold Nintendo NES games for $10, and a Lego City set for sale in a garage sale. For this next one, this children's book knows what's up. Hey buddy, can you help me? I haven't eaten in three days, I'm starving. Here, have some bagels. No thanks, I don't like bagels. I can't take it anymore. These choosing beggars, they're too much. I have a really dumb question. I'm creating a game with RPG Maker and I've put feelers out to find artists and musicians willing to work on it with me and they all keep trying to charge me money. Is this normal, like charging actual currency? Like I make it very clear that this is a passion project that I'm working on for no profit and they still want 60 bucks for 16-bit artwork. Like I'm looking for collaborators and people are treating me like I'm an active game developer with a budget. Does this happen to people who make mods too? Ah, here's the problem. It may be your passion project, but it's not theirs, so... For this next one, owners spend thousands on gift cards for their franchise, defeatist manager says it's pathetic. So on Wednesday, I came into work and the general manager of the place hands me a small present and it's a $25 gift card for Walmart. I've barely made two weeks here and this is absolutely amazing. Everyone in the restaurant got a $25 gift card to Walmart. My night manager, who's a mean defeatist, was complaining earlier about how they could have just bought a Visa gift card but not Walmart gift cards. Like seriously? This is an independent owned franchise and they even gave cards to new people and I did the math. Our restaurant alone was $1600 exactly for everyone to get one. I don't like Walmart, but the fact that these people went out of their way for all their franchise locations to do this is absolutely wonderful. But this manager, she wanted the kind you can use anywhere, the kind with a fee for each card. This manager is a bummer. This next one's titled, Strangers Won't Give My Kid AirPods or Money? Thanks for ruining his Christmas. So I just had to block a number. It was a kid he went to school with that decided to make a group duo call slash chat with every kid from school he has a number for. So some of the people in this group are actually parents. So the kid who made the group is pretty much demanding that everyone give him something for Christmas. He wants a toy or AirPods, but then again, $20 is good because if everyone gives him $20, then he can go buy the AirPods. I'm reading all these messages and half the people in their group have no idea who's sending these messages because no one has this kid's number saved. We all figured out who it is and one of the other moms calls the kid's mom. The mom who called the kid's mom gets back in the group and lets us know that according to the kid's mom, we all ruined her son's Christmas. Because we wouldn't all give her kid $20 or just buy the AirPods, her kid's Christmas is ruined. All of our kids are selfish, and we are selfish, horrible parents who don't deserve kids. All I can do is shake my head at this point. I don't even want to try to understand how someone could think that type of behavior is okay. Now, how much you want to bet it wasn't the kid, but actually the kid's mom who came up with the idea. Or even the mom pretending to be her child. But who really knows? Moving on. This next one is selling a phone for $30 less than its value. I've already told him twice that the price is firm and I can't deliver. This is his latest response. That's too high for a five-year-old phone. I wanted to get this for my wife since her phone was broken and can't afford during these times. I thought I would be able to afford it. Well, if you can't afford this phone, then sorry, you're just gonna have to get a cheaper phone. And now someone literally just PM'd me to ask for awards. How do people think like this? 
from Choosing Beggar. Hi, Crow's Nest, I think it's very impressive you have 729 awards. Crow's Nest replies, thank you. Choosing Beggar replies, can you give me some? Crow's Nest replies, if you want free awards, there's go for gold and trophy trading. Choosing Beggar replies, I just want some premium and you have plenty of awards including an Argentium, come on, you have a lot to spare. Crow's Nest replies, okay, just because I have an Argentium doesn't mean I can afford one. Choosing Beggar replies, okay, go buy some coins and give me premium, you cheap a-hole. Crow's Nest replies, okay, consider yourself blocked, buddy. And the Choosing Beggar finally replies, give me awards, you cheap piece of crap, you have tons. And this post gave the OP even more awards, while the Choosing Beggar, well, I bet they don't have any awards. This next one was originally posted on r slash entitled people, share housing and rooms for rent. Hi everyone, I want to buy a house. There are 33,000 people in this group. I've worked out that if every person in this group sends me $15, I will reach my goal of half a million dollars. $15 each isn't much, but it adds up. If you donate, I will let you come over and look at the house once I've bought it. I'm also thinking of cooking some snags on a barbecue in my future backyard for those who donate. Bring your own alcohol. Oh, so you're asking for 15 bucks to buy a whole house, but then you won't be able to bring the booze? Okay then. If you would like to send more than $15, that's okay. Please PM me and I will send you my bank details. No tire kickers, please. Tire kickers, what, am I missing something here? This next one is an influencer in Banggood. Banggood has always been kind of a funny name. Sounds like a website for adult content rather than a website that just sells stuff. So here there's a keyboard, an 87 key keyboard. Hi, I love this keyboard. I would love to tell my friends about them on Facebook and Instagram. If I tell my friends about them, can you send them to me for free? Let me know, Pluto. Sure, we'll get you one for free, but we'll send it to Pluto. That way you'll never actually get the keyboard. This last one's titled, Do You Guys Like Games? Posted on an anime artist group. Here's something I've always wanted to try and I hope this isn't disrespectful or anything. Draw something for me. Here are the rules. Draw me a person that has a masquerade mask, a crown, and a cape. Have them do some grooving. I'll pick the top three and give them ten bucks. Have fun. Someone else replies, that's bait. And the choosing beggar replies, it's not. Hmm, might be a way to get lots of art for very cheap. If you get lots of entries, you only have to pay three people, but you still get to use them all. Anyway, I'd like to thank all of my patrons, especially Spoonie the Rogue, Benjamins, and Seth Southwell. You can join in the link below, and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. If you have something interesting to say, don't forget to comment. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. See you guys next time.